What's up, Nia Nia gang? We are back with another video. All right, you guys, we are back. And if you can't already tell by the title, we will be speaking on a foundation that I'm pretty sure is well known, but I don't think people truly, like, truly know, like, about this foundation or really want to give this foundation a chance. But today we are going to be doing a review and a um, demo on the Sephora foundation. As y'all can tell by the bottle, I have already used this foundation before, but um before we get into the review and you guys getting to know the pros and the cons about this foundation i'm just gonna get right into the demo so you guys can see what this thing do and then at the end i will talk to you guys about what this freaking foundation and how i feel about it okay so let's get right into okay. it so i've already set and prime my face and I've already done my eyebrows okay okay let me let me show y'all okay so I've already done all that so we're just gonna get right into applying the foundation usually I don't cover up my blemishes because I don't really have that many I don't really have like many dark marks so I don't really cover them up and like I used to be real dark around the lip but like I guess because I started scrubbing my face with a brush, it kind of took that away. So I really don't have dark marks. So I don't really do the whole correcting thing. Okay, girl. So starting off, just so you guys know, it does come with a pump. And the color I use is Deep Fonse. Fonse Deep, I mean. And that is the color 50. And yeah, like, totally, this is, like, awesome. So we're just going to get right into this thing. So I'm going to do this side of my face so you guys can see the difference. And I'm going to only use two pumps. And I'm going to pump it onto my hand. I'm going to use two pumps, okay? This is what the foundation looks like. It is very thick has a thick consistency is not runny at all so yeah and that's only two pumps and usually two pumps will cover my whole face okay um i should have put it on this hand because yeah i broke one of my nails so it would have been easier but whatever So you can see I did one side of my face. You can see the coverage that it does give. Um, full coverage. This is the foundation side. This is no foundation. So you can see how clear my face really looks. It looks like all one, all for one, one for all. Um, so it does have that effect. Scoop the camera. So you guys can really just see. Nothing is showing. Okay, so on this side, you know, I got like a little dark, like a little dark spot right there. But over here, you know, I'm all good, girl. I'm all good. So I'm gonna do my other side of my face, and I'll be all right. So as you guys can see, I finished both sides of my face, and I look flawless. Like, do you see that? Do you see that? Do you see that? Do you see that? Okay. So I do love this. So what I'm going to go do is I'm going to go finish the rest of my face and I'm just going to kind of get my stuff together a little bit and then we'll get right into the review so you guys can get the real deal holy feel on this foundation if this look right here lasts all day long or what. So I'm going to let you guys know so we can get really right into it. You know what I'm saying? So i see you guys in a few minutes. Okay guys, so I did finish the look or whatever i just did some highlighting and some contouring and i put some lipstick on a little bit of some bronzer that looked like a highlighter and i put some mascara on and this is what you get boo this is what you Right 
to talking about this foundation. I've been having this foundation since August of 2017, and it is now December. Um, I got this was my first foundation. I said when I started school of my junior year, I wanted to get me some high end foundation. So I initially went into Sephora to actually get the Makeup Forever HD foundation. That's the foundation I really wanted to try, but the woman was taking forever or whatever. So then she went and found this other one by them that she wanted me to try because she just was like, it would probably be better since I have oily skin. So I was like, okay. So I tried that one on. It was cute or whatever. It was good. And then I tried on Smashbox foundation. I, will, I liked it, but I wasn't feeling it. It wasn't giving me that flawless look that I was just truly looking for. Then I turned around and I saw one of the little girls. I guess this was her first time getting makeup or wearing makeup. And her mom had brought her. And she was just this really pretty, dark-skinned girl. But the makeup looked just so pretty on her. And I was just like, you know what? Let me try your foundation. So me thinking that... You know, once they put this foundation on, it was so freaking pretty to me. The look of it was amazing. But I just knew that this foundation was about to be like $70, $80. I was just planning on spending like $50 on some foundation. Why? I So I, I just went ahead. I was like, how much does this foundation cost? And she was like, oh, it's only $20. What? I asked her to repeat it because I thought she was lying to me. I was like, wait, what? It's only $20? And out of all these foundations, the, you know, the Smashbox foundation was like $40-something. The other foundation I wanted was like $50. And I was just like, squeeze me. This foundation right here, this one that giving me this flawless coverage, got me looking like a whole snack over here. It's only $20? Are you being for real? And she was just like, yeah, everybody just sleeps on this foundation because it's only $20 and they just like act like it's not as good as the other foundations, but it really is. And I was like, you know what, girl, I want this foundation. Forget all them other foundations I tried on. I want this one. And she's like, I'm so glad that you're giving this a try because, you know, like I said, everybody tries to like sleep on this foundation. I was like... Maybe I don't know why. So let's just start off with the fact that I basically still have like half a bottle left. Um, I don't use this foundation every day, but since I've started using high-end foundations, I went and repurchased. I purchased another high-end foundation. So I just go back and forth with those foundations. I really don't use my drugstore foundations anymore because it's like when you start using high-end foundations, it's kind of like, oh my gosh, baby, like... It's a whole different ball game, but I still love them, but it's just like, these are my babies. Okay, so this foundation, first let's start off, The it is full coverage. It's a full coverage foundation. Let's get that right. Very full coverage. It comes with a pump. And it is 25 milliliters in point. 84 fluid ounces and it says Sephora yep fondy tint perfection 10 hour wear perfection foundation it is all free and okay so since it does say all free it does hold the oils very well let's get that right but after um I probably 10 hours that's probably when I usually I usually wear it for about 10 hours because I do go to school for 8 hours, then turn around and do like 2 more things after school, come home from work, and yeah. By that time, the only place I usually see oil is probably like right here, and that's probably the only place where I get oily. Usually, I, I get oily on my nose, and I get oily like right here on the side of my nose, but like with this foundation, I don't get that. I just get it in my, in my forehead area, and honestly, um... I'm fine with that because it honestly looks really pretty when it does that sometimes. I only use two squirts of this foundation as you guys saw in the demo that I showed you guys before. You know, all of this, um, all I do is just use two squirts and I put the dots all over my face. Or I'll just squirt two squirts on my um, pump, on my brush, and I'll just spread it all over my face. And then from there, I'll buff it in and blend it out. Um, and that's all I use. That's why it lasts me so long. You know, August, September, October, November, December, that's four months, and I still have half a bottle left. And I probably won't have to buy no more until next August. So, I guess a year has is got... It's, it's good. Another thing that I like is the fact that my skin has not changed 
Um, I thought it was going to change, like, once the winter time came because, you know, in the summer you're a little bit darker, so you have to use a darker foundation. But with this foundation, I have not had to do that. Um, another pro that this foundation has, you know, I love, like I said, I love found thick foundations because I feel like they cover better. And that it doesn't run everywhere, so it doesn't feel like it's on your face. It's not heavy at all. Um, another pro is I've gotten so many compliments with this foundation. I've even had about five of my friends go get this foundation because they saw it on my face and was like, oh my gosh, like, what foundation do you use? It's so flawless. I love it. The, the one thing that everybody says is they love the way it sets. I don't know if it's the setting spray that I use because I use the Urban Decay Oil Free Setting Spray after all of this. So, um, I don't know if it has something to do with the setting spray I use that makes it look so good. But everybody's always says that they love the way it sets. I think this is probably the best first foundation that... Um, someone should use that's going into using more expensive foundation in that drugstore. I feel like this is the best foundation for you to go get. Like, it come through. Honestly, there's no cons about this foundation except for the fact that, for me, I still get oily kind of in the forehead area. But other than that, I can deal with that. I like, you know, it, it's nothing major. Like, it's not like, oh my gosh, I look like a greasy donut after the end of the day. It lasts, it works. The 10 hours, it do what it do, it do what it do, you know? And I be looking like, you know, a little snack I still today, you know what I'm saying? So I just give this foundation a 10, honestly. And, uh, yeah. Like, look at me. Then I look cute, like, yes, girl, look at me, girl. <laughs> so I'll see you guys later. Be looking out for the next foundation review that I will be bringing to you guys because it is on its way, okay? I'll see you guys later, and y'all have a blessed day. Also, while we're at this point, I need everybody to go follow me on Twitter at it's Mia. I-T-S dot N-E-I-A. Also, that is my Instagram. It's Nia. Go follow me on Instagram, please. Because I, I just have no followers on Instagram because I really stopped using Instagram, like, for about three years straight. And, like, you know, people started to get new Instagrams and they delete the old ones. It was like, I lost all my followers and all that. So, I need my YouTube followers to, like, go follow me, please. Even if you don't subscribe to me on my channel, like... Go follow me because we can be lit together. And also go follow me on Snapchat at Little Nini. And that's at L-U-U-L -U -U underscore N-I-N-I. -N -I. And if you did not get any of my spellings, the names will be down in the description. So see y'all later. Ow. Thank mm -hmm. you.